Have you ever thought about where a single drop of water comes from? Or how changing the way you drink water might really change your life? What can the old wisdom of Buddhism teach us about something as simple as drinking water? These questions might seem simple, but they open doors to a deep understanding that can change the way we think and act every day. Water is a basic part of our lives, but we often don't think about where it comes from or how important it is. In this talk, we're going to look at more than just drinking water. We're going to see how this simple act can be a way to be more mindful, improve our health, and wake up spiritually. In Buddhism, water isn't just something we need to stay alive. It's a sign of being pure, clear, and always changing, just like our thoughts and feelings. Today we're starting a journey to learn more about water. We'll see it not just as something we need to live, but as something that can help us grow in spirit and as people. We'll connect with old teachings that can change not only how we drink water, but also how we see and interact with everything around us. This journey is about more than just new habits. It's about learning to value water, understanding what it means in Buddhism, and seeing how what we do every day affects the world. Every time we take a sip, it can be a moment to be mindful, a chance to be thankful, and a step towards a more caring and sustainable way of living. As we go through each topic, from the health benefits of drinking water first thing in the morning to how it can help us find freedom and wake up spiritually, we invite you to stay with us. Every part will give you new ideas, backed up by both Buddhism and modern science, stories from real life, and useful tips. We want these stories to be not just interesting, but also life-changing. They're meant to help you form a deeper and more rewarding relationship with water. And as we start this enlightening journey, we want you to be more than just listeners. We want you to think about your own lives, question your habits, and open your hearts to new ways of thinking. This isn't just a talk. It's a chance for us all to learn and grow together. A journey of discovery into wisdom that can change how we live. So, to our Wisdom in Real Life community, come with us on this exciting journey. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on this unique exploration of one of life's most essential elements. Water. Let's start this adventure together and discover all the amazing things water has to teach us. 1. Drinking water on an empty stomach. When you wake up in the morning, before you do anything else, there's a really simple thing you can do that's good for you. Drink a glass of water. This isn't just a healthy tip. It's a way of taking care of yourself that comes from old Buddhist teachings and what doctors say is good for us today. In Buddhism, being in tune with nature and how our bodies work is important. Having water right after you wake up is like saying good morning to your body. It helps clean you inside, getting you ready for the day. Think of it like giving your body a nice, fresh start every morning. Doctors agree with this too. They say that drinking water first thing helps wake up your metabolism, cleans out stuff your body doesn't need, and gives you a good dose of hydration after a night's sleep. Imagine your body is like a plant. Just like a plant needs water after a long sunny day, your body needs water after a night's rest. But this isn't just about your body. It's also kind of like a quiet time for your mind. When you drink that first glass of water, try to really feel it and enjoy it. This can make you feel calm and clear-headed, setting a peaceful mood for your whole day. People all around the world, not just Buddhists or health experts, think drinking water in the morning is a good idea. It's something lots of different cultures have in common. They all see how important water is for us. Starting a new habit, like drinking water first thing, might take a little getting used to. A good trick is to put a glass of water by your bed at night. Then it's right there when you wake up in the morning. When you drink your morning water, it's also a good time to feel thankful. Think about where that water came from, maybe from rain or a river, and now it's here to help you start your day. This morning water habit is a bit like life. When we choose good things for ourselves, like positive thoughts or kind actions, it's like filling up with good stuff. 
Every morning, as you drink water, you're not only helping your body, but also getting your mind ready for a good day. After a while, you might notice little changes. Maybe you'll have more energy or just feel better overall. That's your body and mind saying, thank you for doing something nice for them. In our busy lives, stopping to drink a glass of water and just being there in the moment can be really powerful. It's a simple way to be mindful, to really notice and enjoy the little things. And it's a great way to start each day fresh and ready for whatever comes next. So, why not give it a try tomorrow morning? As soon as you wake up, before you check your phone or start thinking about your day, have a glass of water. Feel how cool and refreshing it is. Let it wake you up, inside and out. Think of it not just as something you have to do, but as a special moment for yourself. A moment to be calm and to think about the new day ahead. This little step, having water each morning, might seem small, but it can make a big difference. It's a way to be kind to your body and mind. It's not hard, and anyone can do it. It's about starting your day in a good way, feeling good, and ready for what's ahead. Remember, each new day is a fresh start. How we begin it can really set the mood for everything that follows. Let's begin it in a good way, with a simple glass of water, thinking mindfully, and feeling thankful. 2. Drinking warm or hot water. Imagine starting your day with something as simple as a cup of warm water. This easy habit, loved in many old traditions and by health experts today, is more than just a comforting thing to do. It's a kind and gentle way to look after yourself. In old Buddhist stories, being warm is often seen as a way to heal and feel cared for. When you drink warm water, it's like giving a warm hug to yourself, not just on the outside, but on the inside too. This isn't just good for your body, but it's a way to take care of your mind as well. It's easy, but it means a lot. Doctors agree with this. They say that warm water can help our stomachs digest food better. It's like helping out your stomach, making its work easier. And when it's cold outside, or you're feeling a bit chilly, a warm cup of water can make you feel better, relaxing your body and making any discomfort go away. But this isn't just about your body. It's about taking a moment to slow down. When you hold a warm cup of water and feel its heat, it's a good time to pause and think. It's a chance to enjoy a quiet moment and be thankful for this simple comfort. All over the world, people believe in the healing power of warm water. Different cultures and places have their own ways of enjoying it. And it's nice to see how this simple thing brings comfort to so many people. Getting into the habit of drinking warm water might mean doing things a bit differently. If you're used to cold or room temperature water, try this instead. Boil some water and let it cool down just enough so it's warm and nice to drink. This little change can add a special touch to your day, a moment where you're doing something nice for yourself. Think about the journey of this water as you drink. Where did it come from? How did it get warm? Being grateful for these small things can make an ordinary part of your day feel more special. Drinking warm water is also about knowing what your body needs and giving it just that. Sometimes, we all need a bit of warmth, and having it in the form of water can be really nice and comforting. You might start to notice small changes when you make warm water a part of your day. Maybe you'll feel more relaxed, or your stomach will feel better. These are ways your body says thanks for taking care of it. In our busy lives, stopping for a warm cup of water can mean a lot. It reminds us to take it easy, to look after ourselves, and to be happy about the little things in life. Having warm water isn't just a health tip. It's a way to be mindful and kind to yourself. So, why not try it tomorrow? When you wake up, make yourself a warm cup of water. Let this be a peaceful and warm moment for you. Feel its warmth, enjoy its comfort, and let it gently help you start your day. It's a simple thing, but it's full of kindness, mindfulness, and a feeling of well-being. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 3. Drinking Water Half an Hour Before Meals Let's talk about a really easy thing you can do that's good for your health. 
drinking water half an hour before you eat. This is a simple habit, but it's really helpful. It's not just about when you drink water. It's about making your meals better and taking care of yourself. In old teachings like Buddhism, being aware of small things like when we drink water is important. When we have water before meals, it's like we're getting our bodies ready in a calm and careful way. It's telling our body, it's almost time to eat, let's get ready. Doctors and health experts agree with this too. They say having water before meals is good for our digestion. It makes it easier for our stomachs to handle food and helps us not eat too much. This is a kind way to help our bodies do their job of turning food into energy and important stuff for our health. But this habit is about more than just our bodies. It's also a chance to slow down and think for a moment. Life can be really busy, and sometimes we start eating without really thinking about it. Drinking water before eating gives us a little break. It's a time to think about the meal and be thankful for it. This idea of drinking water before eating isn't new. People in many places around the world have been doing it for a long time. It shows that no matter where we are, we all understand how important water and mindful eating are. If you're not used to doing this, it might take a bit of practice to start. You could set a reminder or keep a water bottle where you eat. It's a small thing to do, but it can add a lot to how you eat and how you feel. When you drink your water, think about where it came from and how it's helping you. Being thankful for these little things can turn a regular habit into a special moment in your day. This habit is all about listening to what your body needs and being nice to it. Sometimes, a little bit of water before a meal is just what we need to feel good. After doing this for a while, you might start to see some changes. Maybe you'll have more energy or your stomach will feel better after eating. These are ways your body is showing it likes what you're doing. In our busy lives, taking time to drink water before we eat is a powerful reminder to slow down and take care of ourselves. It's not just a tip for good health. It's a way to be mindful and kind to yourself. So, why not try this simple step? Before you eat, pour yourself a glass of water and drink it slowly. Enjoy this quiet time. Think about the water getting your body ready for the food. This is a chance to stop for a moment, to be here now, and to get ready not just for eating, but for being thankful for the food and the good it does for you. This habit is a gentle way to remind ourselves that eating is not just about filling up. It's about giving our bodies what they need to be healthy. By drinking water before meals, we're doing something small that can really help. It's a way to be nice to our bodies, making sure they're ready and happy to eat. Remember, every meal is a chance to be mindful and to look after ourselves. Let's use these chances well. Let's make drinking water half an hour before meals a regular thing. It's easy to do, and it can do so much good. It's a habit that brings together being healthy, being aware, and taking a peaceful moment in our busy days. As you keep doing this, you'll find that it becomes more than just a habit. It becomes a special part of your day, a moment of calm and focus. Drinking water before meals turns into a sign of your promise to live a mindful, healthy life. So let this be a new part of what you do every day. A glass of water before each meal, a moment to yourself. It's a small thing, but it means a lot. It's a way to tell yourself, I care about my health, I'm in this moment, and I'm grateful for this food. It's a practice that feeds not just the body, but also the heart and mind. Imagine this, each time you're about to eat, there's this little ritual that prepares you. It's like a quiet signal to your body and mind that it's time to enjoy and appreciate your food. It's not just about getting ready to eat. It's about getting ready to take in all the good things that food does for us. This small act of drinking water becomes a reminder of something bigger. It reminds us to be aware of our health, to listen to what our bodies need, and to be thankful for the simple things that help us every day. It's a way of living that's about being kind to ourselves and paying attention to the little things that make a big difference. So, let's start this habit together. 
a glass of water before each meal, a time to pause and prepare. It's easy, it's good for you, and it brings a little bit of calm to our busy lives. It's a habit that's full of care, awareness, and gratitude. It's a simple step, but one that can make your meals and maybe even your days a little bit better. 4. Mindfulness in Drinking Water Have you ever thought about how you drink water? It's something we all do every day, but usually we don't think much about it. Now let's try something different. Let's make drinking water a special moment of mindfulness. This means being really present and aware when we drink water, turning a simple thing into something special. Mindfulness is a big part of Buddhist teachings. It's all about being fully there in what we're doing. When we drink water mindfully, we're not just drinking because we're thirsty. We're really paying attention to each sip, feeling the water, and being aware of how it helps our bodies. It's like turning a regular moment into a little bit of quiet and awareness. There are a lot of good things that come from this. First, it helps us slow down and enjoy the little things. When we drink water and really think about it, we start to notice how it feels and tastes and how refreshing it is. This helps us understand our bodies better and make sure we're drinking enough water. But it's not just about our bodies. Drinking water mindfully can also help our minds take a break. It's like giving our thoughts a little rest. When we focus on drinking water, we stop worrying about other things for a moment. This can be really relaxing and help us feel less stressed. Tishnhat Han, a well-known Buddhist teacher, talks about something called interbeing. This means everything is connected. When we're mindful about drinking water, we can think about where it came from and how it's a part of everything. This helps us appreciate nature and feel more connected to the world. Being mindful about water also means we start thinking about how we use it. We become more careful, making sure we don't waste water. This is good for our planet because water is very precious. You can try this by looking at your water before you drink it. Notice how clear it is and how it feels in your glass. When you drink, pay attention to how it feels going down your throat and how it cools you down. This is a simple way to be mindful. Mindfulness with water isn't just about drinking. It's about seeing water as an important part of life. We start to see it as something valuable and special. This can also be a time for a quick meditation. Just focusing on drinking water for a few seconds can clear your mind and make you feel peaceful, even on a busy day. If you keep doing this, you might start to notice little things changing. Maybe you'll feel calmer or more connected to what's around you. These are signs that being mindful is helping. In our busy lives, we often forget to notice the simple things. By being mindful when we drink water, we're doing more than just staying hydrated. We're practicing being present, connecting with the world, and finding peace in everyday life. Next time you have a glass of water, take a moment to really be there with it. Look at it, feel its coolness, and drink it with thought and thanks. Let this be a small but meaningful part of your day. It's an easy thing to do, but it's full of chances to be aware, to connect, and to find a bit of quiet. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Leaf channel. 5. Appreciation of Water's Journey and Role Water is something we use every day, but have you ever stopped to think about where it comes from? The story of water's journey from the sky to our homes is really interesting and shows us how amazing nature is. Understanding this journey can help us appreciate water even more. Water starts its journey far away, maybe as rain in the mountains or in a big river or the ocean. It travels a long way to get to our taps. This journey is part of a big cycle in nature and we are part of this cycle too. In many old stories and teachings like in Buddhism, water is a special sign of life and purity. It's used in many special ceremonies and is seen as a precious gift from nature. When we think about where our water comes from, it helps us feel more connected to the earth and be thankful for nature's gifts. But water's journey can be tough. There are problems like pollution 
and changes in the climate that can make it hard for water to stay clean and safe. These challenges remind us that we need to take care of our water and the environment. By knowing about water's journey, we understand how important our actions are to the planet. We should also be thankful for the people who help get clean water to us. There are lots of people working to make sure we have safe water to drink, like those who work at water plants or take care of our rivers. They all help water on its journey to us. Water can teach us a lot too. It shows us how to be flexible and adapt to different situations. Water can be a calm lake, a flowing river, or a powerful ocean, teaching us how to be strong and gentle at the same time. Thinking about water's journey can also help us be more mindful. When we drink water, we can take a minute to think about where it came from. This helps us appreciate the small, everyday things we often don't notice. Water is a big part of our lives, not just for drinking, but for cooking, cleaning, and even in the air we breathe. It's a part of us too, making up a big part of our bodies. This shows how important water is and why we should take good care of it. Water connects us with the world. It flows everywhere, linking different places and people. When we think about water, we feel connected to others, reminding us that we all share this important resource. The story of water is also about finding balance. Like the water cycle balances nature, we can find balance in our own lives. Water can be calm or strong, and it teaches us how to find our own calm and strength. Water's journey is a story of not giving up. No matter what, water keeps moving and finds its way back to the sea. This resilience is inspiring. It shows us that no matter what challenges we face, we can keep going and find new beginnings. We can show our respect for water's journey by using it carefully. Simple things like turning off the tap while brushing our teeth or fixing leaks make a big difference. By being mindful of how we use water, we show our appreciation and help keep it safe for everyone. Next time you use water, think about its journey. Imagine the mountains, rivers, and oceans it has passed through. Reflect on the people and the hard work that makes it possible for you to have this water. Let every sip be a thank you to nature and those who help bring water to you. By understanding water's journey and role, we do more than just drink water. We connect with the world, learn from nature, and take steps towards living a more aware and caring life. Water is not just something we use. It's a part of the big story of our planet and life. Water's journey teaches us about nature, how everything works together, and how we're all connected. It's amazing to think that the water we drink has been around for so long, going through so many changes. Every time we drink water, we're part of that big cycle. So, when you drink water next time, remember where it came from. Think about the rivers, lakes, or oceans it's been in. Remember the rain and how it traveled through the earth to get to you. This isn't just about being thankful for water. It's about understanding our place in the world and our connection to everything around us. Understanding water's journey can change how we see things. It can make us think more about how we use water and how we live with nature. It's a chance to think about what we do and how it affects the environment. It's a moment to make better choices. Water's journey is a wonderful story and we're a part of it. It teaches us about nature, our responsibility, and how we're all linked. By appreciating this journey, we learn more about the world and important lessons about life, balance, and staying strong. So, let's remember this every day. When we use water, let's think about where it came from and be thankful. Let's use water wisely and take care of it. By doing this, we're not just using a resource. We're being a part of nature's cycle, respecting and caring for the world we all share. 6. Water as an expression of love and interdependence. Water is so much more than just something we drink. It's a special symbol of love and the way everything in the world is connected. When we think about water, it's not just the water itself, but what it means in our lives and how it brings us together with others in nature. Every time we give someone water, it's like we're saying we care about them. This simple act 
is a really kind way to show love. It's like a basic, but very important, way to look after someone. In many old stories and teachings, like in Buddhism, water is a sign of purity and life. It's used in special ceremonies as a way to show respect and love. Sharing water in these traditions is a way for people to show they are deeply connected to each other and the earth. Water is super important for all living things, not just people. It helps plants, animals, and even whole forests and rivers. By taking care of water, we're showing our love for the planet and everything on it. When we use water in a good way, being careful not to waste it, we're also thinking about the future. We're making sure there's enough clean water for our kids and even their kids. This is like sending love into the future, caring for people we haven't even met yet. Water shows us how everything is linked together. Just like water moves and changes, connecting different parts of the world, our lives are connected with those around us. By valuing water, we learn to see how we fit into the big picture and how we're tied to everyone and everything else. Sharing what we know about saving water is also a way of showing love. It's like passing on good advice, showing we care about our neighbors and our world. Teaching others how to look after water is sharing a message of love and respect for our planet. In many spiritual practices, water is used for healing and sharing feelings. In rituals, it can symbolize cleaning away the old and starting fresh. Using water this way can bring people together, sharing a moment of healing and letting go of hard feelings. When we use water thoughtfully in our everyday lives, like not wasting it, we're showing respect for life itself. Being mindful about water is a daily act of love and respect for the world we live in. By really understanding how important water is, we see how much we depend on it. This helps us want to live in a way that's good for nature. It makes us think about choices that are better for the earth, showing our love for our planet and wanting to take care of it. Sharing water, whether it's just giving someone a drink or working on a project to bring water to a community, is all about love and being connected. These moments remind us that we're all human, all needing the same basic things. Water runs through our lives, tying us to each other and the world in so many ways. Seeing water as a sign of love and connection opens our hearts to stronger bonds, more kindness, and a bigger promise to look after our shared world. So every time we use water, let's remember what it really stands for. Let's use it gratefully, share it kindly, and protect it responsibly. When we do this, we're not just meeting a physical need, we're nurturing the ties that hold us together. Water's journey is fascinating. It falls as rain, flows through rivers, and ends up in our homes. This journey is part of nature's big cycle, and we're part of it too. When we drink water or use it in our homes, we're continuing this cycle. It's a reminder of how we're all part of something much bigger. Think about how water is used in so many parts of our daily life, not just for drinking, but for cooking, cleaning, and even playing. Every drop has its own story. By being mindful of how we use water, we're showing that we understand its value in our lives and in the lives of others. Water is a precious gift. It's something we all need, no matter where we are in the world. This makes it a powerful way to connect with others. When we share water or work to keep it clean and safe, we're helping not just ourselves, but everyone. Remember, every time you turn on the tap or take a sip of water, you're part of a bigger story. You're connected to the mountains where the rain falls, the rivers that flow to the sea, and to every person and creature that relies on water. It's a story of love, care, and being together. So, let's treat water with the respect it deserves. Let's be careful with how we use it and share what we have. By doing this, we're not just taking care of a resource, we're taking care of each other and our planet. It's a simple act, but it's full of meaning. It's about caring, sharing, and being part of the amazing cycle of life. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 7. 
Gratitude for water's gifts. Water is something we use every day, but we often don't think about how amazing it is. This part of our talk is all about feeling thankful for water and all the good things it does for us. When we're grateful for water, we see the world in a different, more connected way. We appreciate the simple things that are really important. First, let's think about how important water is for keeping us alive. Every time we have a drink of water, it's doing something good for our body. This is a simple thing, but it's really important. It's a reason to be thankful every day for having water. Water is not just for drinking. We use it to cook yummy food, clean our houses, and even for fun, like when we swim. These are all ways water makes our life better. They're reasons to be happy. We have water. In many old stories and teachings, water is a sign of being clean, clear, and calm. These are special qualities that water shows us. When we're thankful for water, we're also thinking about these deeper meanings. Water can be calm, like a lake, or it can move fast, like a river. It can even be strong, like the ocean. Each way that water can be shows us something beautiful about nature. By being happy about these different parts of water, we find joy in the world around us. Feeling thankful for water also makes us want to take care of the environment. We start to see how special water is and use it more carefully. This could mean using less water or helping to keep rivers and oceans clean. When we share water or work together to look after water, it brings us closer to other people. Giving someone water on a hot day or helping to clean up a beach are ways to show we care. They're about sharing and looking after each other. Being thankful for water can also help us be more mindful. When we use water, we can take a moment to think about it and be in the present. This can make even simple things feel peaceful and special. The journey of water is something else to be thankful for. It comes from far away, sometimes from the ocean or clouds, and travels to our homes. Understanding this journey helps us feel more connected to the earth and our place in it. Being grateful for water reminds us how much we need it. It's not just something we buy, it's a key part of life. This thought can make us live in a way that's better for the earth, making choices that are good for nature. Finally, being thankful for water means we understand it's important for all living things, not just people. Water helps plants, animals, and everything in nature. By being grateful for water, we're also saying thank you to life itself. Every time we use water, let's remember to be grateful. Think about how it helps us, where it comes from, and all the joy it brings. This thankfulness makes us see water not just as a thing we use, but as a precious part of our lives. So, the next time you drink water, take a little pause. Think about how great water is and all the good it does. Let this feeling of gratitude make you feel more connected to the world. Remember, every drop of water is part of the big story of life, something to be cherished and looked after. Being thankful for water helps us see how amazing it is. It shows us how we're all connected to nature, to each other, and to the world. So let's be grateful for water every day. It's a simple act, but it means a lot. It's about caring for our world and appreciating the wonderful gift of water. 8. Water's Role in Liberation from Limitations Water is a lot more than just something we drink. It's a powerful sign of freedom and getting past our limits. Let's talk about how water can help us learn to break free from things that hold us back and find a bigger sense of freedom. In lots of old stories and teachings, like in Buddhism, water shows us how to get around problems and adapt to new things. Water always finds its way. It can flow around rocks or turn into vapor and rise into the sky. This shows us that, like water, we can find ways to deal with our problems and change when we need to. Water is always changing, and that's kind of like how we change and grow. Every time water moves, it's a little different, just like we change a bit with each new thing we learn or do. Water teaches us that change is a normal part of life, and we can be okay with it. Think about how water travels from the clouds to the ocean. It starts small, 
then joins streams and rivers, and finally becomes part of the big, wide ocean. This journey is like our own journey to overcome challenges and grow bigger in our thinking and understanding. Water can also help us find peace and new ideas. Watching a river or listening to waves can give us a quiet moment to think. These peaceful moments let us step back and see things differently. In many traditions, water is used to show a fresh start. It's like washing away old problems and beginning again. This idea can help us let go of things that hold us back and start new chapters in our lives. Water's way of giving life to dry places shows us that we can grow and thrive, even in tough times. It keeps moving and nourishing the earth, teaching us to be strong and keep going, no matter what. Water connects all living things. It's in everything, tying us all together. This shows us how we're all part of a bigger world. By understanding water, we learn about our connections with others and the planet. When we use water mindfully and gratefully, we're choosing to live in a way that's aware and responsible. This mindfulness helps us break free from thoughtless habits and see how our actions affect the world. Water also sparks creativity. Its calming effect can clear our minds, helping us think of new solutions. This creative power of water shows us that we can think and live beyond what we thought was possible. Finally, water is really important for our mental and emotional health. It has a calming effect that can help us handle stress and worry. Being near water, whether it's drinking it, swimming, or just sitting by it, can bring a sense of calm and balance. This piece helps us break free from mental and emotional barriers. Every time we use water, it's a chance to think about how it helps us be free. Water's journey from the clouds to our homes is a reminder that we can overcome obstacles, change, and connect with something bigger than ourselves. Water is a friend on our journey to self-discovery and breaking free from limits. It's a reminder of life's flow and the cycle of change. By seeing water this way, we get inspired to get past our own challenges and find our path to freedom. So, let's see water as more than just something we need. Let's learn from it, be inspired by it, and find peace in it. Like water, we have the strength to get past problems, to change, and to find our own way to freedom. By understanding water in this way, we're not just recognizing its importance. We're opening ourselves to new possibilities. We're learning to be like water, flexible, strong, and always moving toward more freedom and understanding. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 9. Physical, Mental, and Spiritual Health Through Water Water is something we all need, but it's also much more than that. It's a big part of keeping us healthy in body, mind, and spirit. Let's talk about how water helps us in many different ways. First, let's think about our bodies. Water is super important for keeping us healthy. It helps with things like digestion, making sure our blood flows well and keeping our temperature right. Drinking enough water is a big part of staying healthy. It's like oil for a car. It keeps everything running smoothly. But water isn't just good for our bodies. It also helps our minds. When we drink enough water, we can think better, focus more, and stay alert. It's like when a plant gets watered, it perks up and grows better. Our brains work better when we're well hydrated. Water is also great for our feelings. It has a natural way of making us feel calm and relaxed. Think about how peaceful it is to listen to a stream or to look at the ocean. Water can help take away stress and make us feel more at peace. In many old teachings, water is a sign of cleaning and starting new. It's used in special ways to show getting rid of old troubles and beginning again. This shows us how water can help our spirits, giving us a sense of peace and a fresh start. Drinking water can also be a quiet moment for us. When we drink water and really think about it, we're taking care of our minds. It's a simple thing, but it can be a powerful way to be in the moment. Water teaches us to be strong and flexible. It can flow around things, change into vapor, or freeze into ice. This shows us how we can be strong and adapt to different situations in our lives 
just like water. Water helps everything live, plants, animals, and people. It brings life to dry places and keeps the earth green. This teaches us to be strong and keep going, even when things are tough. Being connected to nature and the world around us is another good thing about water. Being near water, like a lake or the sea, can make us feel part of a bigger world. This feeling can be comforting and help us remember that we're all connected. Using water in a good way is also taking care of ourselves and the planet. When we're careful with water, we're living in a way that's good for the earth. This is being responsible and respectful to the world we live in. Water is part of many everyday things, like bathing or having a drink. These moments can refresh us and make us feel good, setting us up for a good day or helping us relax after a busy day. Lastly, water is important in many cultures as a sign of life and health. Recognizing how important water is helps us appreciate it more and take better care of it. Every time we use water, it's a chance to think about how it helps our body, mind, and spirit. Water is not just for drinking, it's a natural healer and a way to connect with the world and ourselves. Let's use water in our daily routines to help us stay healthy. It can be as simple as making sure we drink enough water every day or spending time by a river or the sea to relax. Water can be a part of calming activities like meditation or yoga, helping us find peace and balance. The cycle of water, from the rain to the rivers and oceans, is like life's own cycle. Water takes care of the environment and us. It helps us grow, calms us down, and gives us strength. By understanding water's cycle, we learn about life cycles too. So, when you next use water, Think about how amazing it is. Whether you're drinking it, showering, or just near it, remember all the good it does. Let this make you feel more connected to everything around you. Every time you interact with water, it's a moment to improve your health and happiness. Let's see water as more than just something we need to live. It's a big part of our health, inside and out. It helps us think, feel better, and be at peace. Water shows us how to live better, be strong like it, and adapt to changes. By understanding how important water is, we don't just look after ourselves, we respect and value its role in the world. Water is more than a resource, it's a gift that supports and enriches our lives in many ways. Remember, water is a part of everything we do. It's a key to health and happiness. So let's be thankful for water and use it wisely. It's a simple act, but it means so much. It's about caring for ourselves, each other, and the world we all share. 10. Water as a Spiritual Journey and Awakening Water is not just something we drink or use every day. It's also a path to finding out more about ourselves and growing on the inside. In this talk, we'll see how water can help us on our spiritual journey. In many old teachings and beliefs, water is a special sign. It stands for life, new starts, and cleaning our spirits. It's used in special ceremonies as a way to connect with something bigger than us and to make our hearts and minds pure. This shows us that water is more than just a liquid. It has a deeper meaning. The way water travels from the sky to rivers and seas is like our own journey in life. Just as water changes and moves over and around things, we grow, change, and face challenges. Water's journey shows us how life flows and changes and how beautiful that can be. Water can be in many forms, liquid, vapor, or ice, and that's like the different stages we go through in life. We change and learn as we go through different experiences. Water teaches use that change is normal and important for our growth. When we sit by a river or a lake, it can help use think and find peace. The sound of water flowing or the sight of a calm lake can make our minds quiet and clear. These moments next to water are chances for us to wake up inside and find a deeper understanding. Water is clear and pure, and that's what we often want for our minds and hearts. We look for a mind that is calm and thoughts that are pure, like a peaceful lake or a fresh spring. Trying to have a clear and pure mind and heart is a big part of growing spiritually. Water helps everything on earth live. It gives life to plants, animals, and us. This shows us how everything is connected. 
By understanding water, we learn to care for others and the world. Water teaches us to live with kindness and to remember we're all part of a bigger picture. Even drinking water can be special. When we drink water and think about where it came from and how it gives us life, we connect with something greater. This simple act can be a moment to be thankful and to think deeper, helping us feel more spiritually connected. Water in nature, like rivers, oceans, and rain, reminds us of the big forces in the world. Being near natural water can make us feel small, but also part of something huge. It helps us see how big the universe is and where we fit in. In many cultures and religions, water is used to show starting over and waking up inside. It's used in baptisms and other ceremonies to show new beginnings and spiritual growth. This use of water across different cultures shows how important it is as a symbol of rebirth and waking up spiritually. Lastly, water is good for our feelings. It has a way of calming us down and healing our hearts. Being near water, or even just hearing it, can help us feel more at peace. This peace is important for healing inside and growing spiritually. Seeing water as a spiritual journey helps us learn more about life and our connection to everything. Water teaches us about flowing with life, being strong yet adaptable, and finding purity in our thoughts and actions. As we use water in our daily life, let's think of it as a guide on our spiritual path. It can show us how to live, how to accept changes, and how to connect with the world on a deeper level. Simple things like drinking water or sitting by a lake can be moments for spiritual growth and inner awakening. By understanding water in this way, we're not just thinking about it as something we need to stay alive. We're seeing it as a key part of our spiritual life. We're learning to find deeper meanings in everyday things and discovering ways to connect with the world spiritually. Water's journey from the clouds to the ocean is like our journey to understanding ourselves better. It shows us how we can overcome obstacles, change for the better, and be part of something bigger. So, let's remember how special water is. Whether we're drinking it, swimming in it, or just looking at it, let's use these moments to think about our own lives. Let's let water inspire us to grow, to find peace, and to be part of the amazing world around us. Water is more than just a drink or something to wash with. It's a path to understanding ourselves and the world better. It's a gift that helps us learn, grow, and wake up spiritually. So let's be thankful for water and use it wisely. It's a simple thing, but it's full of meaning and can help us on our spiritual journey. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. Conclusion As we finish our talk about water, let's remember just how special and important it is. Water is not only something we drink, but it's a big part of our everyday life, our health, and the whole world. We talked about how water keeps our bodies healthy. It does so many things for us, like helping us think and making sure our bodies work the way they should. Water is also good for our feelings and our minds. It can make us feel calm and peaceful, like when we hear water in a stream or look at the sea. We learned that water is part of our spiritual life too. It teaches us about change and growth, and it connects us with the world in a deeper way. But we also found out how important it is to take care of water. We need to use it carefully, so there will be enough for the future. This means not wasting water and being thoughtful about how we use it every day. Everybody can help save water. It's about doing small things, like fixing a dripping tap, or choosing things that don't need a lot of water. These little things can really add up and make a big difference. Sharing what we know about saving water is really important. When we tell our friends and family, more people can understand why we need to look after our water. Finally, we talked about how looking after water helps take care of our planet. By taking care of water, we're helping the environment and making sure our world stays healthy. So, let's always remember how important water is. Every time we use water, Let's think about how we can use it in the best way. Let's be grateful for it and take good care of it. Water is a precious gift, and it's up to us to look after it.